What we've been really lucky in Doncaster is that the planning team, including the head of planning, have really been behind the health impact assessment. It's a online Microsoft Forms. We've tried to sort of split that down into themes, looking at the surrounding community, looking at open spaces and green spaces, looking at the internal layout of houses. We like the developers to focus on the family, so they have a dining table. And then some of the more simpler things is just thinking about the ventilation of that property, creating a home that can prevent damp and mould occurring, but then also in those warmer times, thinking about how ventilation could be important there as well. So something that we try to highlight throughout the HIA is how we consider all the different populations that might want to move into that development, making sure that there's not all the houses that might be for more of the elderly population in one section, spreading them out around the development so that this sort of the communities can come together and ensuring that the homes that are being developed, somebody could live in that their entire life and, and you know, it be adaptable. We're trying to work better in terms of getting in at the pre-application stage so that even before a health impact assessment might have been done, we can start having those conversations about what we're going to be looking for, what what is needed in a, in a HIA and get the developer on board at that really early stage. feedback that we received during workshops from developers showed that they felt it was a, a tick box exercise that nothing really happened at the end of the process. Learning from that was to have a more open and transparent process so they understand that we will assess the health impact assessment once it's received. We have quality assurance documents and then the developer understands that they can use that as a tool when talking to the communities and engaging with the community around that development. Something that we've actually done is we have yearly training sessions with our planning committee and we do inform them on sort of the health impact assessment process and how that's working and how they can utilise that as well. Essentially, the health impact assessment not being required because the developers have taken on all the guidance and recommendations from public health and the planning teams and understand the benefits of taking on board those recommendations. People should just understand or feel that that place has been built for them and for their needs. Mm -hmm.